Welcome back. Joining us now with the perfect cocktail for the weekend is this guy, hey. Bo Counts. Yeah, Bo Counts. What's up, Bo? Uh, you, morning. It's you it's early like a for a bar. Right now. You know, I'm, it's it's Ooh, my summer fit. You know, I've been right. I've been swashbuckling a little bit this summer yeah. and Alrighty. just uh, you know uh, serving up grog for people yeah. down at Pinpoint. So. I love it. That's yeah. awesome. fantastic. Well, can you swashbuckle your way into uh, some cocktails, cocktails today? Yeah, I'm seeing yeah. a lot of things I like. Up a here. lot of things. Mm -hmm. I thought we would go classic because I like to make stuff yes. that you can make at home. We're classic guys. But uh, gals. I wanted to do something that's kind of like the end of end of summer, you know, and kind of welcoming in that fall. You know, this morning was kind of crisp. It was I crisp. It was crisp. And I thought we would make a clover club. Uh, a Clover Club is a classic cocktail. It goes back to the 1800s. You always kind of bring history. With I like it. Things. Yeah. Let's get our glasses on. Yeah, get your glasses. All right. Uh, but it goes back to the late 1800s, Philadelphia. There was a famous hotel, the Bellevue Stratford Hotel, and this was uh, supposedly invented at. It's a very simple gin cocktail. It's gin, raspberries, lemon juice, and egg white. So don't be afraid Ooh. of egg white. It is a classified as a sour style cocktail. Um, but it disappeared for most of the 20th yeah. century until a famous bartender who goes by the name of Julie Reiner. I actually met her okay. a couple years in New Orleans. She was one of the uh, judges on Drink Masters. Yeah, okay, Drink cool. Masters. Sure. Also in 2008 opened up a bar called the Clover Club of the same name. Okay. And we're gonna make one of those today. Let's do cool. it. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make two because you know we got two of you guys. Two people. So basically, uh, we're gonna double this recipe. Gotcha. So if you want to do this at home, uh, you'll we'll, we'll you half it. Half so. It. You would put two ounces of your favorite gin. Today we're using one of my favorites. It is L uh, London Dry by the name of Citadel. Okay. So this is really, really good stuff. Uh, we're going to use is it, is it real piney? Is it juniper? It's not. Is it not? Okay. It's, it's kind of a, on light on the juniper. So we okay. use about a half ounce of lemon, but since we're making two, I'm going to go for a full ounce. Okay. And then with our raspberry puree, you can make a raspberry. Raspberry puree. That's right, the kind you get at the grocery store. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, okay. So you would use between a half ounce to three quarters of an ounce, uh, depending on how sweet you like it. Um, so we're going to double that. And then the last ingredient is, is egg white. I'm just using like pasteurized egg white because I do want to bring eggs up here. Right. Sure. Um, so add a little protein in that drink. Yeah. Add a little protein. If you're using Get your protein pasteurized yeah. egg white, use about three four fourths of an ounce. If you're just using regular egg, then just Can separate Can I ask that. a question? What does an egg white do in a drink? I so mean, you'll I, notice I I'm shaking this with no ice. Yeah, right? yeah okay. This is called a drag, uh, dry shake. Okay. You, okay. you do a dry shake first because basically we're making a quick meringue. Right? Oh, so the sugars the and the proteins whites. of the egg white. Okay. So you know when you get a cocktail and it has that nice frothy yeah. like head and that silky texture, that's what the egg whites bring into the table. Mm. It's it's making it like really luxurious and frothy. So now that we've emulsified that a little bit, you see that the frost is starting. Yeah. Yeah. So now we're gonna add our ice. You're gonna shake it again? I'm gonna shake it again. So that was, first was the dry shake. Okay. Now we're going to the wet it. shake. It smells amazing. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna get that wet shake going. So this is going to dilute and chill. Okay. All at the same time. All at the same time. Yeah. And so normally you double strain this, but since I'm a professional barman, professional. down at Pinpoint we've got the combo double strainer. Okay. So you would you want to get all those ice chunks, but yeah, look at Speaking that. Speaking of Pinpoint, wow. you busy this time of year? Fitness um, hopping right now. It's we're we're getting close, you know, because the students are back, Ooh. but we're not like a student-focused bar. Of course. So we're mm -hmm. more of a cocktail craft bar. But we pick up as soon as Nightmare on Block Street hits, which is coming up very, very soon. Yeah. yeah. You got that right there. And then you want to just garnish I with love a garnish. little bit yes. of fresh raspberry. Ooh. Or if you don't have fresh raspberry, you can do a little trick. You can go to the store and get some uh, freeze-dried raspberry and just this do a little, little spring. Look how lovely that is. That's a beautiful cocktail. That is really pretty. Yes. Now you got the Clover Club. Oh, okay, wow. Let's try this okay. Thing. Welcome, Clover yeah. Club. Right. All right, cheers. Cheers. I know. Mess it up. What do you think? What do you think, guys? Oh, that's so lovely. Oh, it's nice. It's yeah. so nice. It's pretty easy. Pretty it easy. is. I and love it's, raspberries it's a little bit too. Yes. Thicker, I think, because of the egg. Because the egg white. Yeah. It's and like you, a smoothie. It's like and a smoothie. You get that frothy <laughs> foam, and that will that will stay through the course of the drink, and it'll hold that it's, raspberry yeah. powder. You get a little bit of that in the nose. Oh. Yeah. Mmm. What a great end of summer oh. drink. I, yes. And